It's Umsum time! How do electromagnets work? Simple. They work because they have a magnetic personality like me. Oh, <laughs> Umsum. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> the construction of an electromagnet is very simple. A conductive wire, usually made of copper, is wrapped around a piece of metal. In this case, iron. Now, with the help of a battery, a current is introduced. This current starts flowing through the coiled wire, resulting in the creation of a magnetic field. This magnetic field magnetizes the iron metal, thus resulting in the creation of an electromagnet. An electromagnet is similar to a magnet. It has two poles. Like poles repel each other while opposites attract. Hmm. It is also able to attract iron filings. Hmm. The only difference is that the magnetism is not permanent. Once the current is removed, magnetism may stop working suddenly or after some time. Hmm. An electric bell is a good example of the use of an electromagnet. <laughs> hmm. What if the Earth's magnetic poles flipped? Then I will perform a backflip. <laughs> wow, Wumsum. Earth's magnetic poles last flipped 780,000 years ago. If it were to flip now, <laughs> following problems might oh. occur. Firstly, Greenland will end up in the Southern Hemisphere while Antarctica in the Northern Hemisphere. Secondly, scientists believe that Earth's magnetic field gets weaker before flipping. Now, magnetic field protects us from harmful solar winds. Hence, its weakening might cause serious health consequences. Ah. Mm. Thirdly, scientists also believe that before mm. flipping, the weak magnetic field leads to the creation of multiple north and south poles on Earth for a short period of time. Mm. Fourthly, species such as pigeons, whales, bees, etc., which rely on the magnetic field for navigation, will get disoriented. Mm. Lastly, we will <laughs> definitely need to buy a new compass. Mm. What if magnets disappeared? No problem. I have a magnetic personality. Oh, I'm some. <laughs> Firstly, if magnets disappeared, people who love to put magnetic stickers on fridge would be huh? extremely disappointed. Hmm. Secondly, magnetic latches are used to firmly close cupboards. If magnets disappeared, huh? Cupboards may not close that well anymore. Hmm. Thirdly, MRI machines use extremely strong magnets. If magnets disappeared, huh? doctors as well as patients would be extremely disappointed. Hmm. Fourthly, magnetic toys are popular among kids. If magnets disappeared, parents may face a tough time keeping their kids entertained. Hmm. Lastly, Magnets are required in many scientific experiments. If magnets disappeared, huh? scientists would be yeah. one sad lot. Hmm. Why ah. is equator hot but poles are cold? Because equator likes hot burgers and poles like cold burgers. Nah. Huh? Firstly, around the equator, sun rays hit the ground at a 90 degree angle. Hence, more solar energy falls per unit area, thus making equator ah. hot. However, near the poles, since sun rays hit the ground at a lower angle, the rays spread, causing less energy to fall per unit area, thus making poles cooler. Hmm. Secondly, due to the Earth's axial tilt, poles don't receive sunlight for many months during the year, thus worsening the situation. Thirdly, as sunlight takes a long path to reach the poles, it has to deal with a greater number of atmospheric particles which result in more absorption and scattering of sunlight. Thus, less sunlight reaches the poles. Lastly, snow at the poles reflects 75 to 95 percent of sunlight, which is much more as compared to that reflected by the land around the equator. Hmm. How do huh? batteries work? That is a secret. I can't tell anyone. <laughs> Ooh, I'm some. A battery works by converting chemical energy into electricity. A battery consists of one or more electrochemical cells. An electrochemical cell consists of two electrodes separated by an electrolyte. 
When the battery's two electrodes are connected into a circuit, the negatively charged electrons start flowing through the external wire, while the positively charged ions start flowing through the electrolyte. This balancing of charge is important to keep the reaction running. Now, this flow of electrons through the external wire is basically electricity. It allows us to power our devices. This is how batteries work. Hmm. Also, there exists a semi-permeable barrier in the electrolyte so that huh? all the ions do not immediately coat the electrode and thus clog the system. Hmm. Topic, atmospheric refraction. <laughs> Hooray! Why do stars seem higher than they actually are? <laughs> hey, that is not the actual position of the star. Hmm. <laughs> Please listen. Ah. Fine, then bear the consequences. Hmm. <laughs> See, I told you. Hmm. Do you know why this happens? Huh? This happens because of atmospheric refraction. Atmospheric refraction is the refraction or bending of light caused by the Earth's atmosphere. It went over your head, right? No worries. Let me explain it to you in detail. In the Earth's atmosphere, the air closer to the Earth's surface is denser due to gravity. Oh. But as we move higher, the air density goes on decreasing. This forms different media of air. The layer of air closer to the Earth's surface forms the denser medium, while the layer of air higher up in the sky forms the rarer medium. Now, when the light of a star enters our atmosphere and passes from one medium to another, atmospheric refraction takes place and the light bends. When this light reaches our eyes, our eyes trace it backward as a straight line. Oh. Due to this, the light appears to come from a higher point. Hence, the star seems to be higher than it actually is. <laughs> Topic, ignition temperature. Why does it match light when you strike it? <laughs> huh? Why don't you use a match instead? <laughs> You'll be able to light the bonfire easily. <laughs> nah, I don't believe you. Try it. Hmm. <laughs> Look, I told you. Dude, that was awesome. This happened because of low ignition temperature. Ignition temperature is the lowest temperature at which a combustible substance starts burning. Lower the ignition temperature, more easily will it catch fire. Now, a match head contains antimony trisulfide and potassium chlorate. <sighs> Enough! I know how to use it now. No, the match will not light on any surface. Hmm. The rubbing surface of a matchbox has powdered glass and red phosphorus. <laughs> On striking the match against it, friction is caused. Friction uh. generates heat, converting red phosphorus to white phosphorus. Hmm. White phosphorus has a very low ignition temperature. It immediately ignites in air, producing heat and light, hmm. thus beginning the process of combustion. The heat produced breaks down the potassium chlorate present in the match head, releasing more oxygen. This oxygen combines with antimony trisulfide, which is also in the match head and keeps the flame burning. <laughs> Huh? Why does hot air balloon float? Because it has invisible wings. Ah! No, it is because of huh? density. Oh. Density is the measure of mass present per unit volume. Lesser the density, lighter will be the object. Now, density varies with huh? temperature. Oh, dude, it is so complicated. All right, I'll explain. <laughs> when a hot air balloon is on mm. ground, the air inside and outside the balloon is of same temperature and density. However, when we turn oh. on the burner of the balloon, the air huh? inside the balloon starts getting hot. The molecules of air move faster oh. and spread apart, taking up more space. 
Hence, the air inside the balloon becomes less dense than the air outside. As less dense air is lighter, the hot air balloon oh. rises and thus <laughs> begins to float. 